Hello my friends, today I will tell you what to do if you forgot your Windows password and what you can do to gain access to your computer or laptop. You enter the password, but the Windows password is locked, you cannot use the USB flash drive to reset the password, because you did not make such a flash drive in advance, and now you understand that this is a big problem. Look carefully, don't worry, repeat exactly after me step by step and we will succeed. Press and hold the shift key. And you will go, here. And you now need to restart your computer. Click, restart, while holding down the shift key. I'm still holding it, now I just release the shift key up, once it restarted and now you're here in the system recovery options. Click, troubleshoot. But for me, this PC is a purchased computer, and so I will go to the troubleshooting option, reset this PC, to remove the password and gain access to the computer. I want to delete everything, and it doesn't matter to me to lose this data, if you want to keep your data, then follow the link in the description of my video to another method to reset the password, a video with another method is also on my YouTube channel. And so, I click, reset this PC, to end up with a new Windows 10, as if I had just bought this computer in the store, and so here I choose, remove everything. After that the computer begins the process of rebooting. In this window, we can choose to download files from the cloud or locally. I choose the local download of Windows 10 files. If you are going to give away your computer to another person, or you purchase this computer from another person, then you better choose fully clean the drive. This option will completely clean the drive without the possibility of recovering old data. But if you are doing all this for yourself, then you you can select the function, just remove my files. I choose fully clean the drive. In this window, the computer warns you of all upcoming changes. And if you want to do it later, click cancel, to continue the process you need to click reset, and we have already finished setting up the process, but one more thing to be said. This reset can sometimes take a long time, and if you're doing this on a laptop, you definitely don't want your laptop to run out of power during a reboot, so be sure to do so. Make sure your computer is connected to a power source. The process can take over an hour and a half, and maybe even two hours from the time you start the reset, so be aware that this may take a while. And so, I click, reset, and the process of resetting the computer began. For a while you don't have to do anything and you can relax and have a cup of coffee or tea. The computer will automatically restart several times. And so, the main process is over and now we need to make a few settings for our new Windows 10. Here you need to select a region. Yes. Now the keyboard layout. Yes. I don't need an extra keyboard. Skip. You must agree to the terms of the license. Here I am setting up for personal use. Next. In this window, you can enter your Microsoft account details, but I don't want to be forced to do so, so I choose offline account to create a local account. Here you need to enter the name of the account to manage the computer. Next. I will not create a password and will leave this field blank. Next. Here, I'll just click, accept, and skip the privacy settings. I usually like to disable all these things, I don't like to give people data without them paying for it, so I'm just going to disable all these things. This computer will be for home use. Accept. Cortana has access to more data, and I'm not going to let that happen now. Not now. The new Windows 10 welcomes us, there is not much time left to wait. The process is over and we see the desktop of the new Windows 10. I open, Settings. And here we see that this computer is managed by a local account. Let's see how the activation went, because the activation of the new Windows 10 should happen automatically. I open, Update and Security. Here you need to open the tab, Activation. And now we see that Windows 10 Pro is installed on the computer and it is activated with a digital license. Basically, this is a new version of Windows and you will also have many updates, so I open the search for new updates. 
Yes, the search turned up a result and this computer will soon receive a full package of necessary security updates. This concludes my video tutorial, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I try to answer you every day, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video release. Have a nice day, everyone.